Craig here with Altitude LED Systems. I'm gonna walk you through pixel pitch. I'm gonna explain what the differences are on all those numbers you see and why it matters when you're selecting a screen for your church. Pixel pitch is important when it comes to the distance between the screen and those people that are in maybe that first row within your sanctuary. The pixel pitch will determine visually what the eye sees the screen and the density of those pixels, which renders a smooth image of the screen. If your screen is further away from that first row, you can get away with a wider pixel pitch, meaning a wider separation between the LEDs in your screen. The closer the viewer is to the screen, the more dense we want to have that pixel pitch. That will render a more smooth image where you don't see the pixels. Think about your computer monitor or your phone. Those are extremely high pixel densities. You can't even see the small dots. But if you get really close with, say, magnifying glass or just really intently look, you can start to see little dots in there. LED screen is no different. So how we determine what those numbers mean and how they're calculated, I'm gonna draw it for you. So with pixel pitch, how we calculate that is we have the LED chip, these are all the little dots that make up the LED screen. And there's millions upon millions upon millions of these that make up an LED wall. And with these different chips, we have distances. So the distance between the center, this may be 2.97 millimeters. And that's how that is calculated. And what that is, is exactly that. The distance between the center of chip one to the center of chip two to the center of chip three, all the way down millions of times, it's that distance that we're then generating the 2.97 pitch, or maybe the 3.91 pitch. Or if you go higher density, so maybe we have more closer together, this distance between these chips are gonna be 1.9. So with my crude drawings here, there is a easy distinguishing factor of these are farther apart, these are closer together, and to fill that same amount of space of your LED screen, that means there's gonna be more lamps in a tighter pitch wall. This directly affects the cost. That's why 1.9 millimeter screens cost more than 2.97 millimeter screens. And that's the primary difference where you're seeing the cost escalation between like a 3.91 all the way down to a 1.91, that various cost is because there's simply more LED module. Okay, so now that we know what the numbers represent when it comes to pixel pitch and how that number is calculated, now we need to determine which pixel pitch is right for your room. And how that's factored is based on that viewing distance. So here we have in this diagram, we have our chairs, our congregation sitting area essentially. We have our stage and then we have our screen. How we determine which pixel pitch is right for you is this distance between screen and our first chair. So in this case, let's say this is 20 feet from screen to chair. With a 20 foot viewing distance, it's far enough away that um, we can get away with a larger pixel pitch, such as a 2.97, but it may be too close to go with a 3.91. If we went with a 3.91 in this application, these first few rows will be able to distinguish the individual pixels on the screen. Therefore, they would see just some distortion or just not as smooth of an image that you would see if it was a tighter or smaller pixel pitch. So in this case of a 20 foot, a 2.97 would be advised. And of course, you can always go higher resolution or tighter pixel pitch, such as a 2.6. In this case, doing a 1.9 or smaller pixel pitch, you wouldn't need, and it would almost be just utilizing funds unnecessarily, um, where this is the correct pitch to be used. Anything beyond this in a smaller area, you would be overspending for that application. So now that we know that that distance between maybe that first set of chairs and the screen, is the most important number we talk about, our team here is gonna be able to help you. The only thing we need is that measurement from that ideal screen location that you're looking at to that first row. You can present that measurement to us and we can then show you some pixel pitch options that are gonna work well for your space and how it directly influences the budget.
I hope that helps clarify pixel pitch and how it relates to your screen setup. For more tips and information, subscribe now. We have a lot more coming up.